Hey guys, uh, today I'm here to talk to you about Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And everyone knows what this book is about, because Harry Potter is just like a worldwide phenomenon kind of thing. So I didn't know how to do a review on this thing. I'm not even going to call this a review. While I was reading this book, I kind of just jotted down in my messy handwriting some thoughts that I had while reading this book. And I was going to read out some thoughts that I had. This book is good. It's not as good as the first one. I didn't enjoy it as much. Still a fun read and it was a good little adventure and like Tom Riddle's got a weird ass name, but... Oh, that was one of my points. Ah, spoiler. But yeah, since I read this one years ago and everyone else has kind of read Harry Potter to death, more or less, I'm gonna just give you some thoughts I had in my head while reading this book. Yeah. Hermione is the star once again. She is so smart and figured out this whole basilisk situation, which, I mean, it ended up, well, it saved her life, I guess, with the can't read the mirror thingy. But it took Ron and Harry almost dying to figure it out. They're so dumb compared to her. I totally get Tom becoming Voldemort because if my little middle name was Marvolo, I'd probably be a little angry too. Neville is great and he deserved a much larger role in this book. He deserves to be the main character of his own book. Ooh, a spin-off. Ooh, a Neville spin-off. Ooh, yeah. I could do that. After I finished reading this book, I watched the movie that weekend, and the movie for Chamber of Secrets is garbage. It's pretty terrible compared to the book. They cut out so much of the character stuff to include, like, weird action scenes that don't belong, like the spider fight in the movie was so long, and that train ride, not the train ride, the floating car ride, that was, it was unnecessary. They cut out so many good things for stuff that didn't need to be there, and I just, oh, it made me mad. <laughs> oh yeah, and the one last thought that I had while I was reading this was, why didn't Harry ever contact, like, Muggle, um, or no. Yeah, why didn't Harry ever contact like child services, like muggle child services, and be like, Uncle Vernon keeps me in a closet and doesn't feed me and mistreats me and stuff, and like have an actual investigation done into the house. He's not very smart. Harry's not good at life. Yeah, so those were some thoughts that I had. It's, it's a good book, but it's not the best Harry Potter book. I'm gonna finish uh, Prisoner of Azkaban soon, I think, hopefully. I always say that when I talk about reading books on these show or in this in these videos, it's like I always plan to get to them, hopefully, eventually, blah 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 blah. Very non-committal. I'm very non-committal. But that's it for this one, I guess. It's just Yeah, this is just it. This is my first video you've ever seen. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you liked it, subscribe to my channel and you know, give the thing a like and share it with your friends and all that stuff. And I got links to my good reads and Twitter below if you want to follow me on that. And, uh, yeah. See you in the next one. Bye!